Hi, today we're going to go over the uh, frequency distribution and I have a data set here that I'm going to walk you through this. Um, you probably read about this in your book but now's an opportunity to maybe see uh, just a different type of example to kind of understand what a frequency distribution is. For a lot of you all this might be a review um, but maybe it'll be helpful just to kind of get you into the swing of things here. Um, what I have here is a scale um, from uh, the crisis stabilization scale. It's a scale that's designed for uh, adolescents who are admitted into uh, inpatient psychiatric hospitalization. And uh, I have some standard scores here that range from 23 to 71. Uh, with this scale, uh, with the scaled scores, there's a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And so um, what I have here is uh, uh, scores that go in descending order from 71 all the way down to 23. So uh, the lowest score uh, in this distribution of scores is 23. And the highest score that somebody got was 71. And 400 adolescents uh, completed uh, this inventory. And so, you know, I have 400 scores, each person scoring somewhere between a low of 23 and a high of 71. So, uh, in looking at these scores, um, you can see, for example, that one person scored a 23, one person scored uh, a 26, and 74 people scored a, a 45. Um, you can see that 32 people scored a 58 and so forth. So the score that people got is here in this column and then the number of people that got that score is in this column. So there were 12 people that scored a 71. There were 11 people that scored a 44. And what you can see here is that you can actually add these numbers up. And so uh, if I go to the cumulative frequency column, one person scored a 23, so I start off with one. One person scored a 26, so that's two people who scored 26 or below. Two people scored a 29, so two plus two is four. That's four people that scored 29 and below. Four people scored a 30, so that's four plus the previous four, that's eight. That's eight people that scored 30 or below. And you can see it just crisscrosses, you know, so that when we get to uh, a score of, say, um, uh, 44, 115 people scored 44 or below. 74 people scored a 45, and so we add that. 115 to the 74 and we get 189 people who scored 45 or below. So you can see then how the cumulative frequency works and if I had 400 teenagers take this well then of course you have 400 at the very top saying that 400 people scored 71 the top score or below. Now we have a column here called percent that's just the percentage of people that made a certain score. One person scored a 23, one divided by 400 is 0.25%. So anytime you see one person, you see 0.25%. And you know here we have 74 people that scored a 45. Well, 74 divided by 400 is 18.5%. And so you can see why that percentage is much higher. And just like we did with the... Uh, uh, cumulative frequency, we can do a cumulative percent and go all the way on up and so and just crisscross our score. So 0.25% plus 0.25% equals 0.5% plus 0.5% equals 1%. And so we end up being able to say, well, 13.5% scored 40 and below. 86.75% um, uh, scored 61 and below. 91% of the distribution scored 64 or below. And then, of course, everybody scored at or below 71. So that's uh, a how a frequency distribution looks like and how, how we look at a frequency 